everybody. Uh, my name is Jimmy Garvin, and I'm one of the owners of the Malton Golf Course in Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And I've been asked to speak to you about rising above racism. Um, rising above racism, there are many different ways to explain racism, but the bottom line is that racism is the belief that one is superior to another. I am all for Michelle Obama. When they go low, we go high. But we have to work on changing the lows because we can't keep going any higher and higher with no end in sight. In this country, black, brown, Asian people have been subjected to this notion of superiority for hundreds of years. With all the social disparities and injustices witnessed this past year, all the civil rights injustices perpetrated upon young black men and women, the ridiculous prison sentence handed out like free water, and the openly physical attacks and gun violence have escalated and keeps getting worse. One has to wonder. When it, when, if, how can change occur and all people are treated equally if laws, diversity, training, and ways of general respect for others aren't changed and changed and challenged and changed, I'm sorry. We know that a community of like-minded individuals pulling in the same direction ignites a spark and we have to fan that flame. Keep pushing for equality and demand change. And we have to continue pushing for change and equality in a civil manner. I don't have the answers. Generations of learned activists, civil rights leaders, political figures, and fed up youth have all jumped in to tackle this issue. And here we are in 2021 having the same conversation. Stand up, take notice that black lives matter, that Asian lives matter. No matter if they're different from yours, their lives matter. The one thing we have learned is that raising our voices, marching together, and never giving up keeps the issue on the front line. You may think that voting does not work. No matter but the elect, no matter but electing like-minded people gives us a voice. Speaking up against injustice wherever it exists. Educating our youth and those around us gives us a voice. Unveiling the cruel reality of injustice against a group of people because of race, gender, identification, sex, age, political affiliation, legal challenges, determines the health of our society. I change we can change, but I challenge you to stand up for right. Keep standing up for right. Raise your voices and above the noise of those who will not accept change. The January insurrection and who will most likely not suffer any repercussions were those folks who were racist. They did not like the fact that we were in a position where we were going to succeed as a society with the new president. Let your voices be heard at the ballot box, putting all racists on notice that although this movement to eradicate this country of racism has long been long and unjust and hard, it will not end until reforms are implemented to ensure that each and every one of us have the same equal and just opportunity as those who do not look like us. We all know the Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence were written for different times. These are the go-to documents to govern our country. I say raise your voice until our rights detailed in both these documents are being accepted by those who do not look like us. In closing, I'd like to say to you, I don't have the answers, but I appreciate the opportunity to talk to you about 
about rising above racism. We need to talk about legal disparities. We need to talk about health disparities. We need to talk about educational disparities. We need to talk about college and university and generational wealth disparities, and also homophobia. Let me end by giving you a few statistics in the world in which I live, which is the golf industry. The golf industry is an $84 billion a year enterprise. Within that $84 billion a year, there's 2 million jobs. And I can guarantee you that only between 7 and 10% are minorities, or black, or African American. There's also over 15,000 golf courses in the United States, and only a handful are owned and operated by African Americans. We have to stand up, we have to fight, we have to challenge, we have to change our way of thinking as it relates to how we get what we need. But most of all, if we do this together, we can and we will win the fight against racism. Stay strong, stay true, be healthy. May God bless. Thank you for the opportunity.